Hello, my fellow armchair generals. It's me, Bitter Steel, back with another video for Hearts of Iron 4. And today, our quest for great mods brings us to one of the most controversial ones at the moment. Now, I'm not going to go into the controversy. Uh, I don't want to stick my nose into things that I don't know anything about. So I'll leave it at that. I just want to play video games and make videos about them. I just want to have fun. So that's what we're going to do today. We will have fun. So what is the mod? I'm sure you can recognize the UI by now. That strange and horrible neon. That's right, the new order. Let's see what the world looks like. Looking at the nation selection, it's fairly interesting. We have four major factions led by the US, the Germans, the Japanese, and for some reason, the Italians. I, I wouldn't trust them with anything, but okay. But what we are interested in today is the center. Look at what they did to Russia, my boy Russia, and specifically Yatka. We will be playing as the legitimate heir to the Romanov dynasty, Tsar Vladimir III, and we will try and put Russia back together. And oh boy, does Russia need putting back together. Just, just look at what they did to my boy. Oh God, it's horrible. It's just, it's a mess of teeny tiny countries or well, warlord states more than anything. Some more inspired than others. I'm looking at you, Omsk and Tomsk. Now, if you like these videos, leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel a lot. Also, hit me up in those comments. Hit me with your questions, your suggestions. I try to answer as many of you as I can, and I do read most of the comments. That said, we also have a very nice active Discord community. I'll leave the link to the server in the description below. Check it out. There's some community games going on there every now and then, some multiplayer, some roleplay. Anyway, enough rambling, on to the video. Now, this is a pretty railroaded experience. It's more of an interactive story, than open gameplay, but I still think it's pretty fun and I do recommend it. That said, might not be so big on the memes this time. They've got some very extensive lore here. If you want to read it, I suggest you uh, get yourself the mod. It's pretty good. Some information, mod features, blah de blah blah de blah. Yes, yes, let's just get into it. So, Vyatka, that's it. Three provinces, not much of an industry. We have three civilian factories. Can we build anything? Yes, this will be built in four years for one level. Oh, oh, Luftwaffe terror bombing. Well, I suppose it's only a war crime if you lose, right, Germany? Yeah, he is losing the battle against time, though. That man does not look healthy. At any rate, let's keep going. Uh, basic infantry equipment. Yeah, fairly basic here. Don't think we can make anything else. Well, much else. Do we have more factories? One more. I'll make some support equipment. And we'll just convert everything but the trucks into basic infantry. Yes, I know, we, we have no manpower at all. Uh, hardly anyone lives here, so we'll have to find ways around that. Research! Uh, let's start by getting an AK-47. Yes, the Automat Kalashnikov will do great things for Russia. This weapon will free the Russian people from oppression. And some basic engineering. I, I really don't like the UI. I can tolerate it much better than I could the first time I played this, but not a fan, not a fan. If anyone knows of a good mod that gets rid of this, I'm all ears. Oh, what's this, raiding and loot? Yes, I question the legitimacy of any state that has to rely on raiding and looting for its income. Not much of a state is this. State of the economy. Yeah, low seems accurate. Yes, very accurate. Popular support, low. Yeah, it's pretty part of course for the Romanovs, I suppose. As far as I can tell, the idea here is to constantly scavenge for loot and raid our neighbors whenever possible so we can take these decisions. Now, I'm not much of an expert, but as far as I understand, the things we want to focus on are industrial equipment, agriculture methods, and new schools. And then the rest just follows behind that. So I suppose we'll try and put this country together and make the people like us a little more. And for that, we'll need our focus tree. Now, this looks tiny, but every time you complete one of these, a new one forms for you to click through. Now, they are pretty much 
uh, well, chapters of a story, I suppose, since you have to do most of them. There's not that much choice involved, but it's interesting, adds some flavor, and it does a good job of explaining the state of the world. Plus, they're all pretty short, 14 or 21 days. So, let's get into this. I like this mod. I hope I can share that love with you. And most of the story will be told through these pop-up events. I'm not going to be sharing all of these, except for maybe the really interesting ones. But I do recommend you read through these if you ever play this mod. It's it's pretty impressive how much work went into this. Yes, the Emperor has returned. An economic graveyard. That's a pretty accurate description of Russia right now. That's pretty accurate for Russia for most of its existence. You know, I don't trust this man to be our puppet. Those are not the eyebrows of a trustworthy individual. I don't trust him at all. Not one bit. Looks like um, people still try to kill the old man in this uh, timeline as well. Just never, never lucky are we, mustache man. Never lucky. Though I do suppose he survived that, so there, there's that. Oh my god. This does not spell good tithings for the world. He's just named Heidrich as his successor. Yeah, Himmler Light um, running the German Empire. Yikes. So apparently we've been bombed into oblivion for the last 20 years. That would explain the strength of our economy. Yeah, yeah. maybe one day the bombs will stop. Uh, maybe one day. Let's keep going. Imperial austerity. How much more austere can it get at this point? So like I said, for a Russian warlord, I think... The most important will be to get better industrial equipment and agricultural methods. Agriculture to grow that population, industrial equipment to improve. Where are we here? This industrial, uh, well, industrial equipment. We're stuck at power tools. So we've got those IKEA drills, but that's about it. Best improve that quickly. Hey, let's initiate our first raid. I have a feeling we'll be doing many of these. Ah, oh, they gave up. Oh well. So these raids are pretty much just border skirmishes, like in the base game, uh, which means if you have more than six divisions, it gets complicated which ones are involved. So uh, yeah, not gonna do a guide on that. Just be aware it uses the base game mechanics and we all know just how poorly those work. Eventually. I, I like how we can propose extreme austerity considering we're living in the shattered remnants of what used to be russia out in the frozen wastes how much more austere can it get my dude i think moderate will be fine you know it, it gets pretty hard to do an upbeat playthrough of this if you're constantly bombarded with misery like this i mean the events are great the storytelling is like i love it the writing's pretty good but boy, is this a depressing area to play in. Whoa. Also, in case anyone's wondering why I'm just sitting here raiding my neighbors and not trying to conquer them, even though several of them are pretty weak, uh, this is why. Manual use of this feature has been disabled for the new order. So, uh, they really railroad you. Let's not say it's terrible, but it does make for a more... More of a storytelling experience than anything else. Ah yes, the Imperial Bank of Russia. Like, what are we gonna keep in there? Our, our, our three rubles and potato? This, this doesn't look much like an empire to me. And just like us, our neighbors can do these border conflicts as well. So you'll get these ultimatum events asking you either to pay up or, well, you know, fight for your stuff, which we are obviously going to do. Uh, that's why I like to keep my boys centrally located so I can respond to all corners of the nation relatively quickly. And I think they're going to go here. So I'm going to redeploy my troops, let them get some org and then click the decision. Of course, we're not going to give up our stuff. Finally, we can start to recovery. It's about time. It's May of 1962, 20 years of a shattered Russia. So nice bonus every time you defeat one of these enemy incursions, uh, get some free guns, some stability. Pretty cool. Anyway, now that we have started our recovery, it's time to make vodka. We will unlock the full potential of the potato and we will make Russia truly great again. Ah, uh, selling vodka to Russians. May as well have liquid gold. Bit of a stereotype, no? Bit of a stereotype. It's probably true though. Ah, time for the Imperial Potato Act. You thought I was joking about the potato. No, 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 no. Potatoes are the lifeblood of the Russian economy. Oh, dear God, they did it. 
the madman did it, whoever decided to give this man access to nuclear weapons needs to have a good long think about what they've done. This is not good for the world. Not good for the world at all. Uh, what? What would the US want in Guyana? This man's just sitting here. Just, just vibing. And Nixon wants his stuff, apparently. Just go back to my little corner of the world. This is confusing enough. Excellent. We can now make the weapon that made Russia great. The AK-47, baby. Yeah. Now to put our magnificent industry to work. All six military factories. My god. Uh, for anyone wondering why I'm bothering with uh, making motorized, um... They're really great for sniping victory points. I've noticed that, at least in Russia, the AI doesn't have the numbers to fill the entire front line. And just one or two units of motorized can just zip through and capture victory points, ending wars really quickly. Ah yes, we can scavenge bombed factories. Yeah, that's uh, that's one way to make an economy work, I guess. Eh. Now this is unrealistic. Italy wins a war and brings peace to the Middle East. Sure. Sure. Now, the initial stages of this mod are fairly static and very story-driven, so I'll try to power through that into the more interesting bits where we start to, um, well, put Russia back together. 20 minutes later. Oh, looks like holding on to all that GME was a bit of a mistake. Did not go to the moon and Diamond Hands did not save Japan. Oh well, it's not like we can do any worse than we already are. But we care about the economy. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it the moment I saw the man's eyebrows. He stabbed us in the back. Oh, I'm coming for you, Kazembeck. I am coming for you. There will be a reckoning. Trust me on that. There will be a reckoning. Man has balls though. Not only does he betray me, but then he decides he wants to take my stuff. Well, let's see what you're made of there. A bit of sneaky. N not, not much good. No. No. Rip. Ah yes, white army traditions. Because traditionally, the white army did so well in the past. Ah, finally. The old mustache man kicked the bucket. That can only mean great things to come for the German Empire. I wonder how this is going to explode. Yeah, that took about 20 seconds, so... The generals are eager. Let's see, Geheidrich, Speer, Göring, and Bormann. And I think some others are going to split off as well. Alright boys, take your bets. Who is going to unify Germany once more? My money right now is on Bormann. Then again, I don't have any money. So that's not much of a risk. Uh-oh. Uh, ah, French are getting shafted real good. That's the Britons and the Burgundians going after them at the same time. And I think their army consists of, like what? Three guys with some stale baguettes trying to hold them off. Oh, France. They, they really don't stand a chance, do they? Almost feel bad for them, almost. I hope they add some content for France though. I think it's going to be an interesting run, just trying to hold off the Burgundians. Ah, good news though, with the Germans too busy trying to kill each other, they've stopped bombing us. That means we can build things once again. I have to ramp up military production. Just nothing but mills. We'll need them. Need a lot more equipment where we're going. So after clicking through what's felt like a hundred pop-ups, this is what the world looks like. It's a giant mess. Everyone's fighting each other and we're just here in Russia vibing and waiting to, um, well, do our own little conquest. Uh-oh. Zukov's to the north. That can only mean bad things are coming my way. Better be prepared for that. Need a lot more troops though, I think. At least a few more. Eh. France elected a president. Yeah, there's not much of a French state left, is there? Not much of a French state left at all. Wow. Oh, and in 10 days, we begin the reclamation. Russia will rise from the ashes. A new, improved Russia. A glorious empire. Uh, well, at least if we can defeat our neighbors. That's right, baby. The empire strikes back. This... Oh, let's go back. This is where the fun begins. This tree is where the war goals are. Yes, let's start gobbling up our neighbors. And it looks like Komi is going to start by trying to take us out. <laughs> Good luck. We ought to be pretty prepared to deal with them. 
Well, there we go. Comey has declared on us. Poor, poor Soviets. You have no idea the kind of hornessness you've just stirred up. So let's see if we can't bring this to a quick conclusion. The idea is to just break the enemy lines and uh, go ham with the infantry. Well, no, not the infantry, the motorized divisions. Like I said, the AI doesn't have the units to man the full front line, so once you punch a hole anywhere, your motorized can just run amok. This is why motorized is so valuable in this region. Plus, most of its plains are forest, so you should be able to zip right through. Hey, we've captured some poison gas. Fantastic. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. Time to turn our attention to the traitor, Berezniki and the weird eyebrows man, Kazembeck. Mm, should probably start stockpiling political power for these integrations. All right, Berezniki. Are we going to invade or are we going to do this peacefully? Let's see what the options are. I I'd like to invade, but if it's too much, you know, too much trouble, it'd be better to just integrate them. You know what? No. No, I will invade. I have to make an example here. Nobody messes with the Tsar. Suffer not the traitor. I have to admit though, I am ever so slightly worried by that massive West Russian Revolutionary Front to my north. And uh, Zukov, yeah, Zukov, um, please don't kill me. There we go, let's wipe this stain away. Glorious will Russia be without Berezniki. There, problem solved. Ooh, but we do have a new problem to the south, the Aryan Brotherhood. So we are now pinned in between the wannabe Soviet Union and gamer LARPers. Ugh. Russia is a complicated place, isn't it? Also, um, I, I just saw this um, <laughs> city name. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, the Aryan Brotherhood is justifying against us. Mm. Okay, you know, I'm not that impressed. I can probably walk in without too much effort. Ah, the gamer LARPers want to play, sure. They will face the might of the Tsar. It's just, you can't stand against me. Oh, like I said, they're just, they're no match for us at all. There we go. Another problem solved. <laughs> Vyatka grows ever larger and we grow ever closer to finally putting this mess of a country back together. Yeah, my boy Borman's on a roll. I think he's won by now. Hasn't he? Yeah, I think he's won. Uh, it looks like Tomsk has unified the central Siberia. wonder what Omsk has to say about that. I'm still very suspicious of Yazov. Meanwhile, Siberia looking odd. Hmm. Like I said, just stick stick to this uh, this little corner of the world here. This can be difficult enough. Uh-oh. Movement on the border and the West Russian Revolutionary Front is coming for me. I think Zukov, uh, Zukov is going for round two here, Yorgi. This time I'm ready. Uh, uh oh, the commit. Um, who? What? Two of them? Oh no. Oh no, that's both Samara and the Russians. Ah, uh, that's problematic. Um, oh god. Um. I hadn't expected them to just like straight up declare on me like that. That border is wide, wide open. Um, damn, 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 damn. Samara got pulled in. I did not expect that. That just came out of the blue here. I, I, I need, I need a new plan. And just fall back with the regular infantry to the Vyatkan border, I think. Yeah, I'll have to give up a lot of ground here. Maybe um, my motorized will be able to make some good uh, gains. If I can get into their rear, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then I can swing around and head north to Archangel or Archangelsk. <laughs> we'll have to focus heavily on the defense here, though. Oh, boy. I say that, focus heavily on the defense, but it might actually be better to try and take on Samara offensively, make some gains while I can, and just hope the Russians to the north just take their time. At least my motorized is uh, zipping along nicely. Once they get to the plains regions here, they should be able to power through no, no problem. Okay, my motorized has reached the plains of Samara. From this point onwards, it shouldn't be too much of a problem for these guys to just power through and take all these victory points virtually unopposed. 
I also make some offensives with the infantry on the front lines just to make sure their divisions remain tied down. Meanwhile, the Russians are closing in. I mean, the Soviets are closing into the north. Oh boy. This is really just a race against time. Well, they've already started cutting off my motorized. Should be fine. Should be fine. Hmm, seems like my trucks are running out of fuel, but I still have fuel. Is it just because you're cut off? You got plenty of local supply there. I mean, I think I'm winning, but doesn't really look like I'm winning. It's exciting. I'll give you that. It's exciting. Ah, they've moved infantry back. This is... Oh, this is getting dangerous. This is getting really dangerous. I need to take these guys out before... Well, before the Soviets collapse my country. I'm getting... I'm getting legit afraid that I have lost this war. Ah, <laughs> uh, to think I was doing so well. Or at least I thought I was doing so well. Oh! Thank God, the motorized carried the day. Now we need to deal with these uh, Soviet dogs and we should be in the clear. Oh, they've um, they've advanced close to my positions though. This is dangerous. Quick redeployment of the army. And head towards Arkhangelsk. Maybe I can cut these guys off if my motorized can get into position quickly enough. At any rate, I should outnumber them rather significantly. So I should not have too many issues here. But their divisions may be, may be much better than mine. Yeah, I'm gonna try and collapse this in a pocket. Destroy the units, move on. Oh, this is just a mess of frontline orders. Uh... Yes, I know the situation does not look favorable, but we should, we should be able to defeat these guys with relative ease. We have the numbers on them. I have the massive advantage of motorized divisions. We can just zip through all of this and out and around their army. So we just need to keep our heads cool and methodically defeat the enemy. Oh, you know, front lines in, in Russia are just a garbled mesh. They're so long and there's so few divisions to actually man them. This, this hurts my OCD. Uh, it does look like we've more or less breached their lines, if you can call these lines. Now it's a matter of rushing their victory points before they can get to ours. Should be good though, we should be good. There we go. Speed wins the day. My advice to anyone wanting to play a Russian warlord, motorized. Motorized will win you almost any war. Just go around the enemy, capture VPs. Oh, that was exciting though. Whew. Two front wars, man. Two front wars. I've also started producing a massive, massive amount of main battle tanks. I just love using tanks and uh, I don't think the AI has anything to stop those. I just need to squeeze out enough of them so I can replace my motorized divisions with armored divisions. It's, it's just going to be a matter of adding tanks to the templates as I get army XP. Meanwhile... Oh, I was right to be wary of Yazov. I was very right to be wary of Yazov. I think he will be our... Well, I wouldn't say final boss, but <laughs> he'll put up a challenge. It's going to be either Omsk or Tomsk. And with that, we finish the tree, so it's time to click the button. Boom. We're now... The sovereignty of Western Russia and the Emperor has returned. This gave us a research slot, which is handy. Plus it gave us access to the economy. Well, that's nice. Huh. More uh, Soviets to the east. Let's see how that looks. Oh boy. Uh, I think Russia is now divided into four major players. We've got the Soviets. We've got something purple in the middle. And we've got the... Uh, Sneaky Yazov, and of course us. I wonder who's going to win. It's gonna be us. Oh great, uh, more Soviets to the south. Oh, the Tsar is beset by enemies on all sides, it seems. And once again we get another focus tree. I wonder how many of these they made. What? Elections? In my Tsardom? Like, I guess we don't have a choice. Um, let's see, this KD, VNS, and NTS. I, I guess authoritarians? Well, I'll, I'll go with the NTS because we, we do need strength and stability. And now I have to dabble in elections, it seems. Uh, okay. Uh, I should have done this better. I started out with no PP to actually start campaigning. Ugh. 
First elections in Russia. I'm probably gonna lose them. Let's try for a spot of uh, voter suppression. That seems to work well in Russia. Ooh, the votes are in. I wonder. Eh, blah, 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 blah. Shulgin won. That means... What does that mean? Oh, we didn't win the elections. Damn it. Oh, well. Um, Let's wash down that defeat with a little invasion of Onaga. Shouldn't be too difficult. Let's let's clean up this mess here. I'm gonna slow it down just a tiny bit and we can just completely overrun whatever they have here. Oh, there goes Onaga, that was quick. Now we just invade Finland. Shouldn't be too difficult, really. Let's see, Finland. Six or ten divisions. Yeah, should be easy enough. You know, I'll admit I wasn't expecting much trouble, but I, I thought the Finns would at least put up a fight. I mean, that's kind of their whole thing. Ah, Finland offers a ceasefire. Yeah, no. Ah, a conditional surrender. Mm, no, no. Why would I ever want to give anything up? I have you by the balls, my friend. This isn't going anywhere. Just give up. Ah, uh, oh well, an unconditional surrender, and I really don't have an option. Uh, back to the 1936 borders. Eh, better than nothing, I suppose. Ooh, we can exert influence in the southern Urals. What's this? What's this? Um, kind of just want to launch a military intervention, to be honest. Then again, that could be problematic if the Black League here responds. Need a few more troops, maybe? Just like a lightning offensive with me armor could do quite a bit of damage here. And I don't think the Black League has the troops to oppose me. Oh boy, I still need hundreds of tanks for my three divisions I have here. Ugh. I need more military factories, I need them quickly. Looks like uh, Yazov beat us to the punch here. Well, well, well. Let's also just invade as well. Oh, man. There we go. Should be quick and easy. I don't think they have much. And our armor is quick enough to really punch through whatever they have. I don't think I have to worry about Yazov to the north just yet. His troops are probably busy doing something else. That's that fat idiot Malenkov dealt with. Now for the others. The thing is, they're, they're pretty easy to defeat, but I just want more stuff than Yazov can take. I don't trust Yazov one bit. Hey, it appears we won, so suck on that, Yazov. Yeah, that's a pretty satisfactory conclusion to that problem. Playing around with tanks is just so much fun, really. Problem is it just takes forever to make him. Um, okay, I looked away for a teeny tiny bit and Omsk has exploded. What happened here? It, it looks like Yazov died and everything went to shit. Well, I guess we will uh, simply have to step up and uh, take all of that stuff for ourselves then. I can do that. I have to say, as fun as this mod is, there are so many dead moments in it. All I'm doing now is clicking through this focus tree, finishing up everything I can because there's nothing else I can do. I cannot manually justify and I cannot go for this one until January of 69. So I'm just sat here building up my country really, which I suppose is important. Don't get me wrong, but it's not much fun to look at. It is interesting if you're into nation building. And all I'm really churning out is masses, masses of these main battle tanks. One eternity later. Oh, there we go. Finally, can move on to the next stage and cross the Urals. Don't get me wrong. I've said it before. There's a lot of dead moments in here, but it's still very fun. Now to gobble up our neighbors. I think uh, this would have been a lot more difficult if Yazov hadn't kicked the bucket, but since he has, we will take advantage of his misfortune. And we've captured some gulags. How very Russian. This may serve us yet. The only thing even remotely difficult about this is just the distances, the sheer distances your units have to cross. And even though my armor is pretty quick, it still takes a while to you know, drive from A to B. 
Well, that cleans up the Urals nicely. Two contenders remain. The Central Siberian Republic or the Far Eastern Soviet Republic. Who will win? Who will win? I am curious. I hope it's the Reds. Make for a nice rematch for the uh, revolution. And with the click of a button, we're now the Russian Empire. Not bad. Not bad. At least we're flying half an empire. Uh, time to deal with the Soviet menace to the south. It shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, just, just look at these tanks go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Off they go. No, I think Russia's getting nice and chunky. I do wonder who our opponent will be next, though. And whoever it is, uh, we'll have to wait another full year to find out. I, I don't like that. I'm gonna come out and say it. I don't like this. Oh well, we're almost there. It would be a waste to back off now. Let's just see where this goes. I have to say, Japan is onto something here. This is a foreign policy I can get behind, as, as long as I'm not the one executing it. Meanwhile, the Siberian front seems more or less stalled with the Central Siberian Republic slightly in the lead. And yeah, we'll see where this ends up. Either way, um, we are more than ready to take out whoever's left standing. Meanwhile, Russia will be developing nuclear weapons. Yes, this can only mean great things. Two thousand years later. Oh, finally, we can enter the final stage of this playthrough. The final unification. We will take out either who's left standing or both of them at once. Russia will be made whole once again. Well, this is uh, interesting music considering the topic. Borman is busy. Borman is very busy. Time to sweep eastwards. And we should just be able to uh, walk in. Just look at those tanks go. Zoom, 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 zoom. Like they have nothing on this border. No resistance at all. Look, the vision's finally showing up because they're pulling them off the front with the Soviets. So yeah, this is, uh, this is it for Tomsk. There we go. And now we crush the Soviets. Whatever divisions the AI managed to cobble together are usually trash. And they're just no match for our armored spearheads. I mean, these are some pretty good divisions. Main battle tanks, baby. Main battle tanks. Oh, look. Um, Spain's doing its thing. No, no, no such thing as a peaceful Iberia. It just has to fall apart, doesn't it? Just always has to fall apart. Franco, you messed up. Uh, at least, at least our country isn't a giant mess. I mean, is this actually looking pretty good considering where we started? A few moments later. That's it. The Russian Empire resurgent. All we have to do now is turn our eyes on Moscow and integrate a bunch of stuff. Very well, let's reunify the motherland nice that is a chunky russian empire yes horandi oh really okay so apparently the mod's not quite done yet and this is where the uh, Vyatka slash Imperial Russian content stops. They they want to expand this some more. Okay, so for now we will not be returning to Moscow. That is very unfortunate because I had hopes that we could build up to that. I hope to revisit this in a later patch then because I, I had fun. Despite all of the dead moments this mod had, I really, really had fun. It's a good story driven experience. I really really recommend you play it that said yes i am aware of the drama surrounding it just let me reiterate what i said at the beginning of the video i just want to have fun that's it i just want to have fun i hope you guys had fun and enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and hit me up in the comments always looking for more suggestions you know me by now so keep the good stuff coming also consider subscribing if you want to see more of this content or more of my achievement guides i still have a few on my whiteboard that i want to put out so stay tuned for those and finally of course a massive massive shout out to my patreon supporters thank you guys for helping to make these videos a reality you guys are the best this has been me bitter steel. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.